Yeah, I'm, I'm a veterinarian, um, grew up on this farm. Uh, did my undergraduate at Penn State University and then my veterinary school at Ohio State. Um, so since I got out of vet school, um, I spent a little bit of time in Western Ohio practicing. But since then, I've been local here and uh, doing the mixed animal practice and then also uh, helping out with the farm as much as I can. Not so much with the crop end of things, but at least overseeing animal health, trying to at least see all the cattle at least three to four times a week. Over the last 40 years or so since my father and uncle started and took over the uh, Heineckel Farms, the uh, cattle operations, we've always been kind of a stalker slash feeder operation where we've bought mostly smaller calves, anywhere from three to 500 pounds. We've grown those calves both in the stalker phase and also in the feedlot phase. In this part of the country, our hills and everything, a lot of the land is not suitable for farming. So it gives us a way that we can utilize some land that's too steep to farm by growing grass. Cattle are very uniquely suited being ruminants that they can utilize grass more so than really any other animal can. So they're able to use basically an inedible source of carbohydrate and protein in grass and change it to edible protein being beef. The stalker phase for us serves, I guess, two main purposes. It gives us the flexibility that we can buy cattle at varying ages and stages and um, put them out on grass and it gives us time. There's nothing healthier than a cow that's out under the blue sky on green grass. So it, it gives us a way where we can get those animals healthy before putting them into the feedlot for the final finishing phase. Also, it ensures us a steady quantity of cattle to put into the feedlot because if, depending on the size and weight, if we can buy them heavier, they can go straight on feed. If we have to buy them lighter, we can grow them slower on a grow ration that's a little bit cheaper than our feedlot ration. So it can kind of hold those cattle over for a little while until we need them in the feedlot or until there's room.